everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Nuclear Throne. It has been a few days, let's get practiced and get ready here. It looks like we're gonna do an eyes run today. It hasn't been a few days since I played. I actually, I've been uh, lackadaisical in my whole attitude in about getting the, the daily challenges done. That's not a really great bit of damage right off the start, but at least it wasn't like 100% completely out of the blue. Um, but I did do, oh, damage, I almost got my full HP there. Um, Okay, okay, let's cool it a little bit here on the whole being really bad thing. I did do a run on the NLSS when I was like, oh, well, I'm not going to do the daily anyway. And I'm super, or I'm not going to do the daily on the channel anyway, because I'm already doing the Northern Line Live Super Show right now. And uh, the daily's about to roll over, so I did it, and I sucked really bad. So my confidence is not too great, but sometimes from low confidence can come a glorious situation, you know? You can sometimes turn low confidence into a positive thing. That allows you to get more confidence in the future. Are we missing anything? Not that I can tell. Probably use the pop gun to just bleed bullets and then save our slugger for the, the sewers if I had to guess. But this is our warm-up run. So this is where our practice sort of comes out, you know? That's bad damage. Should probably use the right click at some point. And bleed bullets it has. Oh, right click a little. Almost done here. Probably more done than I'd... Uh, like to admit, but hey, we got strong spirit, so we don't have to worry too much. And we also did just pick up the wrench, the world's greatest item. Not quite full Canadian here. Full Canadian would be if I picked up double wrench as steroids and just started to wing it. I really thought I would hit those bullets into the maggot and it would be like the greatest play I've ever made. It was not, that's okay. Second stomach, bloodlust, rabbit paw. No. Let's try trigger fingers. It's the, of the three that were obvious there, it was the one that I considered myself least likely to take in most situations. So I was like, hey, you know what? Why don't we try to mix it up then? Why don't we try to make, uh, why don't we try to try something semi-new? I mean, we've been using trigger fingers with a little bit more reliability lately. Works fine with the wrench. We're gonna take the machine gun instead though, because it's a little bit more uh, scalable, I think, down into the, the junkyard. That was a really short sewers level. I do not like our loadout very much, but it's not too bad, and uh, I'm happy we at least got a chance to uh, to rock the wrench temporarily. I'm gonna try the slugger a little bit more, I think. Pretty much because I can. Could have gone plutonium hunger for sure. Like I don't, I don't think that would have been a bad choice. I don't know if there are bad choices here. Uh, I have made a terrible choice to come in here. I'll tell you that much. Good. Good, good, good. He is definitely dead. We're about to level up. Definitely do not want to last wish ourselves in this city. Oh, what the heck? That guy got me? Oh, that's a crock of fucking Betty Crocker right there. I'm not proud of that joke, okay? I'm self-aware at least. I'm not gonna write it on my, you know, Facebook. Hey, check out this joke I got thought of today. Not that I'm prone to do that in the first place. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to brag about that joke. It's just, uh, it is what it is, you know? It's, it's part of the whole here. I'll try to do better in the future. I do really like Eagle Eyes out of all of those. I, Eagle Eyes is probably like a C plus mutation. But we'll do it regardless. By the way, I have to point out, I'm sorry in a recent Nuclear Throne episode how I tried to go to YV's mansion and then made a terrible, terrible mistake did not realize you have to press E on the car. You don't have to be super rude about it. People were like, oh my god, how can he not realize you have to press E on the car to get into it? Well, you know, usually I just kind of go up to it with a screwdriver in real life and bash on the door with a screwdriver until someone lets me in, and it just works. Occasionally it explodes in my face, but that's why you have a strong spirit, and it's just, you know, it's like you guys have never lived in the real world before. But now I know, and if we have the screwdriver that shows up uh, with the car with the gold outline, we can make it happen. With Eagle Eyes, do we want SMG over Machine Gun? I can't imagine so. But let's try it, because it's novel, right? It's a little different. The whole reason the SMG is bad... That was so stupid of me. That was just unbelievably stupid of me. That's not the SMG's fault, I just didn't... I didn't shoot properly. I, you know what, I think we should just do the daily, and we'll play Eyes. I think I'm adequately warmed up, I think I just made a poor play there, that's okay. Alright. Very key. If possible, we want to get a good loadout on the junkyard. Laser pistol is part of a good loadout. Now we only need one good weapon, and then we can start to skip weapons cases for a little while. I meant to get, um... Well, let's go in. I meant to get energy there. That was my mistake. I thought I used the mouse wheel, but sometimes it's a little finicky, you know? It's a 
We'll try to... Oh my god, that's so much ammo. Try to make sure that we're picking up as much of that as possible because we're going to bleed it a little bit later. Didn't mean to do that, but we've got more energy coming up this way. And basically, uh, just think of that as piercing shots, and I should have picked up energy there as well, but we're close to max on both of them. Pop gun. I do like pop gun more than the revolver, I'll admit it. I'm not afraid. I know, it's a uh, opinion that not a lot of, a whole lot of people share, but I think it's still pretty solid. Not, no, I don't think it's pretty solid. I think it's like one tier above revolver. I'm gonna go with trigger fingers. Boiling veins was the other one I was considering there. Um, kind of novel stuff. Oh, that was bad. Novel stuff I don't take all that much. So we have a uh, big bandit. Shouldn't be too bad. We'll just get a kill, or several kills, and then we'll use trigger fingers to spam the shit out of him. Almost done. There we go. Energy, please. Yeah, we got 10, which is probably a little bit less than we spent, but it happens. Unfortunately, because we have pop gun, we are still... Ooh, that's almost full HP. We are still going to look for a new weapon. And you know what? Fuck it. I'll take the screwdriver, and we'll try to redeem ourselves. It could be risky. I'm not intending to use the screwdriver. I think rabbit paw is kind of a no-brainer here. Not intending to use the screwdriver, but we'll, we'll try to do it anyway, and we'll try to do, you know, Spelunky style. What do I mean by Spelunky style? You know, for a long time in Spelunky, it was just like, oh, just beat the levels and get as far as you can. Then the meta became, hey, there's all these, like, cool um, different areas you can go to. I am using the screwdriver, which I said I wouldn't, but um, there's all these cool, cool levels you can go to, but they're hard. And then we go, oh, you know, that's way too hard for us to worry about right now. Definitely, we'll take crossbow here. And then we just started, that became like the canonical path, is we're gonna try to get to hell, we're gonna try to get to the black market, it's, well, I guess, you know, putting the cart in front of the horse a little bit there, but you get the idea. That's kind of what I'm thinking of Nuclear Throne, is like, if we can go to YV's mansion, we should go to YV's mansion, probably. Might not be an opportunity on absolutely every single run, but on many. Thank God we got that back, so at least we didn't get completely fucked on the whole HP thing, which was my bad for using screwdriver, by the way. Um... But, you should know by now that I can't be trusted. If I say I'm not going to use a melee weapon, I'm probably going to use a melee weapon. Ooh, uh, I don't know if right click saved me or nearly killed me there, but we're... We're alright. Let's try to do things tactically. It's a cover-based shooter. We're playing Spec Ops the line again. There's our, there's our car. I see it over there. Good stuff. I want to clear out, like, everything. Wow. Wow. Um, does the, car, the car does not have wings. Is it about to explode in my face? I think it might be about to explode in my face. It didn't... Okay. I'm going to try. If it kills me, it kills me. We've gotten into the car. Sweet. Uh, I think we're going to go with patience here. Even though we're probably going to die... At least I've redeemed myself somewhat in the eyes of the, the people. Hopefully. I don't know how these enemies work. Cash money? Nothing. Okay, we got 11 bolts. Let's not be... Let's not be uh, too risky here. Oh, they're all dropping medkits! Uh, one of you has a bazooka, I can't help but Notice one of you has a shotgun, okay. I know I'm gonna miss out on that. That's just life, man. Yo, get out of here. I'm trying to be a cash money millionaire. I, I don't have anything but this. This is my life right now. I just have the screwdriver. Did we do it? No, there's still one enemy left. We got a lot of bolts, though. I think we killed him. That might not be the last enemy. There's, like, chests and stuff I have to get. I've been to YV's mansion once before and Chad yelled at me because I didn't pick up all the delicious chest action. I really wish that that mimic had dropped something more. Oh, oh, good medkit. I gotta go for it. There's a golden gun. I got it. Okay, it's coming down with us. We made it. Uh, and now we can get homing bolts. Golden machine gun. Look for the gun with the star in his eyes and it's gone. Oh my god, we're back at full HP. You know what? YV's Mansion was not just some flavor there. That has actually saved us a lot of potential heartache. Extra rads, which is of course important. 
golden machine gun. Which is going to be really nice for breaking this stuff. And we got that extra mutation. I mean, that's because of patience. But um, it's important either way that we got that extra mutation. Because it ended up being homing bolts. Which is very, very good. Please die. He's got to be close. Just mix it up. Because both of these weapons are going to be potentially viable. Oh, is that heavy crossbow? Okay, we can take heavy crossbow instead of regular crossbow, and then roll with whatever this weapon is. Some kind of, It's a minigun? Well, we're definitely gonna take strong spirit. Minigun without eagle eyes? I don't know. It's a shame, actually, like, scarier face would have been super nice to get there, but strong spirit is just, maybe there's a flaw in my logic, but I really feel like strong spirit is like, you always take it. But you know what we could have actually done is rolled uh, crossbow heavy crossbow. Because we have homing bolts. I think it would have been a little bit more effective to roll um, crossbow up here than the head, the golden machine gun. But we can roll laser pistol instead. And hopefully we'll pick up an... Oh, God! That was scary. Hopefully we'll pick up like a semi-early scarier face. We can also like use heavy crossbow against these guys. I would take minigun if, uh, if we had eagle eyes. Maybe that's a little bit of faulty logic too though. Maybe we can just do like burst fire and it would be fine, but whatever. I, I know the laser pistol. Grenade, shotgun. We don't have boiling veins, but I kind of feel like it's worth giving a try. Okay, maybe not at enemies that are like coming right for us, but... We don't use this weapon that much. You know the expression, necessity is the mother of invention. Maybe it's it's time for us to try it out a little bit more. We're actually building like a weirdly okay run here. But there is of course always the chance that it all goes terribly wrong at the worst possible moment. Which would be uh, any moment before at least one loop. Good. I have to imagine eagle eyes would actually make grenade shotgun pretty sweet. I really thought we'd get both there but that's okay. It's good at crowd control, actually, I can't deny this. Okay, what, oh. Wave gun, uses uh, shells. I don't really like it for that reason. We do have another level coming. I don't know how much I like grenade shotgun, but we're stuck in this situation. Um, we will take second stomach, even though I was talking about eagle eyes. Second stomach is basically core as far as I'm concerned. That's all right, that's all right. We got rabbit paw, second stomach, so we're, we're expecting drops. Uh, I did just grenade shotgun myself in the face. You were not wrong. That's where a strong spirit comes back to help you. <laughs> I guess. Oh, okay, maybe we should cool it on grenade shotgun a little bit. Wave gun's not looking so bad anymore. Except we're back at full HP, so what do I know? Okie dokie, okay. I probably should not be using it in tight corners. All right. That seemed viable to me. Uh, it was a little dangerous. This one, this one has definitely forced me out of my comfort zone quite a lot. There's a triple weapons case over here, which is pretty amazing. Uh, there's got to be something in there. This is like a laser rifle. Double shotgun, plasma rifle. Uh, I'll take double shotgun. And we know IDPD's coming soon. Oh my lord. Help! <laughs> Save me! Ah! It's too much! It's far too much we lived. Holy crap, we lived. All right, I wasn't even scared for a goddamn second. I don't know where you're getting all those screams from. Kind of just went for it. I got to admit, double shotgun trigger fingers is pretty okay. And we're actually back to max HP with strong spirit as well. All right, so what's our next level? We got the labs. So we probably want to keep double shotgun around for that. I'm gonna keep as many shells as possible, is what I mean to say. Some of these enemies are just 
you know, it's better for us to be using this anyway. We could use the regular crossbow instead of double shotgun, but I don't know that that, that helps us out that much, to be honest with you. Um, sure, let's try eagle eyes. I mean, eagle eyes, double shotgun, trigger fingers, seems like it would synergize fairly well. That's fine. It's all about getting these kills. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. This might be a good level to have strong spirit on as well. Fuck it. Even with max like rate of fire, it's still a disaster. Where are my necromancers at? Okay. Well, there's oh not enough shells. We got a real freaking issue here. Oh, the med kit. Med kit of the century. Get him. We got him. Both of these weapons are going to be very valuable for us in the future. So let's try to keep them both popped up. How we've come out of this in an even better situation than before is a little bit beyond me. You know, a couple of bolts can do a lot of damage in case you didn't notice there. Lightning cannon, I don't really like it can be persuaded in the right circumstances. I've had one of these motherfuckers kill me before. We're done, okay. Double shotgun, double fun. Oh! Nasty damage. Sorry, one double shotgun shot is enough to kill him. This is where we move more quickly than usual. I really wish that that guy would just die. Thank you. Ah, uh, beautiful. We're back at full HP. Not a scary situation at all. Not, uh, was never frightened for a moment. Disc gun. That's a very funny joke. How about disc is my gun? Disc is my rifle, disc is my gun. This one's for fighting, this one's for fun. I don't know why I'm fucking around with this. Just murder him and then... Pick up your stuff and then get... There's more stuff? Is there more stuff? There's some radiation I almost missed out on. Alright, we got another level coming up here. Maybe like a back muscle might be okay? A burk muscle? Um, sure. Throne butt for stronger telekinesis. I, I only graze that guy, which is extremely scary to me. Hide. Now murder. We're gonna play a little game called Hide and Murder. We're gonna play a little game called It Doesn't Really Matter If You Get Med Kits. <laughs> the only thing that matters is your survival. The game itself is very slightly counterintuitive, but largely that's okay. Good. We've made it work! And we are continuing to make it work. Thank you for not being a mimic. Thank you for being a friend. Double shotgun or heavy machine gun? Honestly, I think heavy machine gun because it has the range that we need uh, to hit the throne with it, is my guess. Energy screwdriver is not going to happen. So we do want the bolts. And then we got full heavy machine gun. We can come back for double shotgun at the end if we want. We should remember we have telekinesis, and I'm pretty sure... Or we have stronger telekinesis, I should say. If I hold the right mouse button... While shooting heavy machine gun, this throne should be basically unable to move, and I think the bullets won't hit me either. I don't know how long that's going to last, because we didn't take recycle gland, we took throne butt instead, but the idea is that throne butt's going to help as well. Alright, we do have screen shake on, I forgot to turn it off, that's okay. Alright, so we're going it, to, it'll draw him towards us. But then this will get cancelled out by the heavy machine gun fire, or at least largely cancelled out by the heavy machine gun fire. So we kind of want to wait for, like, big balls. And then we'll send the big balls away so that we have a better chance to pick up the consumables. Probably should not be moving while I do this. It's <laughs> something I'm learning pretty quickly. So this is like 200 heavy machine gun bullets here. Now we're at 250 or so. All right, now, gotta be a little bit more cautious. Get another 20 or so in here. Now we're out of bullets again. We can always right-click, though. I walked right into that just to get it away from me. 
I'm joking, obviously. I really wish I had not done that. We don't have to hold right-click at all times. We can just use it to push the bullets away from us as is necessary. Or desirable, at least. Well, I like... I don't really like this at all. Amazingly, we are still alive. Let's get rid of heavy machine gun for double shotgun. It was good, don't get me wrong. But also, we need the ammo. Here, we'll probably take back muscle. Try to get ourselves out of this little bucket of syrup. There's a double, or there's, sorry, a regular med kit in there. Now, you stay away from me. True nuclear throne who is also a dick. Just deflecting the bullets as they come in. The orbs, big ball management, as sleep cycles is always telling me about. There we go, we've managed to make it happen. We'll head down to the next floor. Why is it that I can get the most consistent runs with eyes, a character whose right click I like never use? A couple of different answers you could you could diagnose there. One of which would be, well, you're not worrying about it, so that's you know you got less on your mind. That's possible. It might also just be like you know surprisingly good luck over a deceptively uh, small interval. Shouldn't have walked into that guy, but the contact damage was not that bad, actually. I think um, we need, like... Look, I'm just going to tell you what I want, okay? I would love to pick up... Um, I think I'm going to get rid of double shotgun for lightning SMG. Because it's going to fire so fast with trigger fingers. But I would really love a seeker shotgun. Wow. Wow. Um, Made an interesting sound when that happened. Um, yeah, I would really like a Seeker Shotgun, the weapon I always take on loops, because it's the world's greatest. Lovely. Uh, I don't think we want Shovel. I think this is the furthest I've ever gotten without having, uh... Without having gotten the, uh, the Ultra already, which is kind of hilarious. Shows you I probably missed out on, like, a lot of rads at some points on the course of this run. I always already forget the Eyes Ultra. I think one of them, like, stores... Oh, jeez. One of them stores, uh... Your shots when you've right-clicked, and then unleashes them all at once. The other one, uh... Pushes enemies away from you at all times. Something along those lines. Let's try not to die until we get a chance to verify this. Laser pistol? I mean, it's decent, but... A little late for it to be at, like, peak usefulness. Oh my god, there's still so much more. I was like, finally, we're done. We did get back to full HP. Oh, part of the problem might be that Necromancer in there. Oh, should not have been hit by that, especially that second one. Okay, level Ultra. I'm going to take the one that pushes enemies away when not using Telekinesis, just so we can be a little safer. Heavy Slugger, man. It seems like a pretty decent choice to me. I'm assuming this is going to be the slowest of all of our weapons. Back to full HP. There's going to be a couple of big bandits in here. Oh, no, remind me later. Anti-virus, oh my god. Left click, resume. Now with trigger fingers, I'm banking on like a so semi-fast rate of fire here though. With those heavy sluggers. Moreover, I'm banking on them to just be dope as heck. And we do have a med kit up there. It worked! I didn't really want to get the med kit yet. Man, the heavy slugger uh, aim is so small. Or range is so low, I guess. That's how it should be described. Ammo's dropping fast and furious. We've got a double uh, something going on there. I got you. I told you guys I was warmed up for the daily today. Oh, yeah, sure, Northern Lion. Getting forward to, we're looking forward to watching you die instantly. I don't think so, man. This is now in, like, my top five dailies, I think. It's up there, anyway. And it just rolled over... Made it like less than two hours ago, so I'd be expecting like this to be well within the top 100. For now, not not for uh, life, obviously. Although that would be sweet, it's extremely unlikely as well. I really want. Oh, we don't even need that. We already have strong spirit at max. I'm kind of unhappy with our loadout. I kind of feel like heavy slugger needs a little help to be great. Maybe laser minigun would be better for me? It's got range on it. Okay, we gotta like... I'm gonna clear out everything so I only have to deal with that guy. 
I'm not sure how laser minigun stacks up, to be honest, because I'm going to try it. Ooh, okay. Still alive here. This is where things get, like, kind of nasty. That guy's dead, right? Like, I know that he was a crystal, but I just assumed, like, he left a crystal before he died. Okay, we've already been there. Uh, I kind of feel like we're better off with the heavy slugger, honestly, but... We can always oh, go back and check on that. Just fire shots into the abyss, hope for the best. Every one of those spawns one of those guys? I mean, you'd think I would know that by now, but still. I'm a little amazed. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to take a lot of shots here, by the way. This is never me being like, oh, this is going to be easy. Oh, get away from me, you... Dick. This is proving to be surprisingly tricky. I want the med kit, but not you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Um, well, we gotta find some way out of here. I mean, that's probably relatively obvious. As far as I'm concerned, every shot that we land is a is a triumph. Gotta get like a juicy angle to get these bad boys out there. Ah! Oh! Oh! Still got strong spirit though. What's going on? Did you break through this side? Yo, I'm running out of space. I think I got him. I think I got him. Like, there's more alive. Yeah, we did get him. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll stick with Heavy Slugger, I guess. Ooh, hoo boy. Alrighty. One shot from Heavy Slugger. I figured it should be enough to get the job done there. Still a little surprised that it is, just because, you know? Sometimes you, you do expect the worst in some of these situations. Toxic Launcher, man, you are way out of your weight class right now. Still waiting on that Seeker Shotgun. I got faith, man. I will replace Heavy Crossbow with Seeker Shotgun. One click and like 30 enemies die. Okay, where's the, I saw that there was a Necromancer involved in this level somewhere. I would like to find said Necromancer and finish the job. Oh, that would have done it. That would have done it. That, where are you getting these corpses from, my man? I guess you can summon any enemy and turn them into this. Uh, some kind of fire shotgun. If it's double fire shotgun, I might take it over heavy slugger just because of the range thing, man. Auto, oh, it's good enough. Yeah, I do think it's good enough because we're having the biggest problems right now with crowd control. I think that necromancer's still alive somewhere here. Oh, it was just one of you? All right. Uh, it, the shots are gonna be faster, obviously. They're probably gonna pack a little bit less punch but it's still gonna be dope. You don't have to worry about the dope quotient. Blood Cannon. People have told me this is pretty good, but I am, you know, I, I'm afraid of change. And I really like the setup that we've got going on, as long as we can keep our ammo semi-high, which I'll admit does look to be becoming a slight issue. Good. Good. Good enough. I can't believe that didn't get a kill. Well, considering I missed, I guess I can believe it, but still. All right, we got 36 shells there. I don't know if I've ever gotten past uh, Big Dog. I think I've gotten past Big Dog on a loop. I just can't seem to recall fully. Okay, well, we're about to find out. I mean, I'm assuming the heavy crossbow is going to make relatively short work. Not assuming it's going to be easy or anything like that. Like, maybe you've noticed there's a lot of shit happening right now. A lot of stuff on the screen is quite dangerous to deal with. Look at this freaking rad scorpion. Get out of here, man. Low shell scares the shell out of me. Oh, three hits in a row is bad. Oh, the go, oh, the missile shoot bullets. Still, I'm so happy with today's daily. So happy. 
What do we get? Um, I want to see if we have a rank yet. 15th! That's pretty good, man. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.